Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Some of you may know that the only company that I'm affiliated with that isn't photography related is Clean My Mac by MacPaw Software. I've been using it since around 2011 or 2012, and I can honestly say that it is the best maintenance utility that one can own for their Macintosh computer. Now, as you could imagine, on my computer, I have a lot of different photography applications, a lot of different plugins, and they never crash. My computer never locks up, and I truly believe that's because I use Clean My Mac regularly. Now, once or twice a year, I do a video on Clean My Mac. I'll either talk about a feature of Clean My Mac, or I'll just show you how to use it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, I apologize in advance if this sounds like a commercial. Um, Clean My Mac or McPaw Software, they're not paying me to do this video, but I am an affiliate for Clean My Mac. If you look in the description below this video, you'll see a link to Clean My Mac. If you clean, click on that link and you purchase Clean My Mac, or really purchase anything from McPaw, I will earn a commission on the sale. I do want to mention that there is a fully working free trial of Clean My Mac. Uh, you believe it's for seven days, so you could try it out and see how good of a job it does on your computer. Now, as far as Clean My Mac is concerned, when you do open it up, you'll have several panels on the left-hand side. It will start out in Smart Care, and I'll come back to that. Below that is Clean Up. Now, Clean Up, it looks through your system, and it finds, like, cache files that you don't need. It finds orphan files, other files that are around in your system that just could be deleted and reclaim that space. Below that is Protection. This is malware protection. It looks for viruses and adware, and it will delete it and get rid of it. Below that is performance. Here, Clean My Mac will make tweaks to your system so that your computer is running at its fastest. Below that is applications. A couple different things you could do here. Uh, with applications, you could uninstall applications. And you're probably thinking, well, I could do that. I could just take the app and throw it in the trash. That is true. But when you do that, you're often leaving orphan files because often the app file, the .app file, comes with other files as well that support it. And if you just throw that .app file out, you're leaving all those other files on your system. They're taking up space. If you uninstall them using Clean My Mac, it will not only take the .app file, but it will take all associated files as well. Also, with the Applications panel, you could have Clean My Mac look at your applications and see if there is an update available for any of them. Then you'll be able to update the app directly through Clean My Mac. And I use that all the time because I have a lot of different applications on my computer. And it's just a pain in the neck to open the app and let it tell me if there's an update available and then update it through the app. Here, I could do it in one false swoop. I just tell Clean My Mac, look at my application, see if there's any updates available. It sometimes will come up with a list of five or six and I'll just click update all and it will update all of my applications. My clutter is kind of similar to Clean Up. It goes through... Uh, parts of your computer, and again, it will look for orphan files, but here it will also look for duplicated, duplicated files and other files that aren't being used. Uh, you haven't used them in years, maybe, and it's going to ask you if you want to get rid of those. Now, at the very top was Smart Care, and I kind of brushed over that. This is actually what I use every now and then, like periodically, I'll open Clean My Mac, and I'll just go to Smart Care, and I'll click the Scan button. When I click the Scan button, Clean My Mac will do all those other operations automatically. Right now, it's looking for junk. And you can see down here where it's looking, what applications it's looking at, what files it's looking at. And it's determining if there's any junk there that could be deleted so that I could reclaim that space. One thing I want to mention is I've never had Clean My Mac delete something I needed or delete something that caused my computer to have an issue. It never has. It's smart enough to know what is needed, what isn't needed, and stuff like that. Now, the next thing it will do is it will look for malware. It's looking for, of course, viruses and adware. And it looks, when you use this smart care panel, it looks at the most vulnerable areas, the areas of your computer where malware most likely resides. Uh, Later, after you're done here, if you want to do a deep scan, it would scan your entire system and look for malware. And I've done that now and then, but to tell you the truth, 
Usually, malware will be in specific parts or specific folders, specific areas of your computer, and that's where it looks when you use the smart care option. And um, when it finds malware, it has options to either just delete it or to put it in quarantine where it won't do anything. Um, so it's, you know, sometimes um, some virus applications, uh, applications that look for viruses, they might see a file that actually isn't a virus, but they think it's a virus. And in those instances, it just puts it in quarantine. So it's not actually deleting it. Now it did performance already. It was looking to see what it could tweak to make my system faster. And it has two tasks and my applications are all up to date and it didn't find any duplicate downloads or files. So I'm pretty good. You can see that um, if I click run, it will reclaim 2.6 gigabytes of space on my hard drive. It didn't find any threats or malware. It will run two tasks. Uh, these are maintenance tasks that will help my computer run faster. It's not going to update any applications because I don't have any that need updating, and it's not going to get any rid of any duplicate downloads. So I could click run. Now, I do have the option to click review. If I did, it would review what that junk is because maybe I don't want to delete it. But to tell you the truth, I have so much trust in Clean My Mac. I never click review. I just let it delete the junk. And then over here, there's also a review for the two tasks it's going to run. So you could see what it's doing. But again, I never click those because it really runs perfectly. So when you click run, it will actually uh, user log files. You could see it's getting rid of system log files cache files, system cache files. These are usually temporary files that aren't needed. There's some mail attachments from older mail that I never need. It got rid of it already. Now it's running the two tasks. It's uh, flushing the DNS cache. And then it, after it does that, it's freeing the purgeable space. And now it's just going through and it's really done. It's just going to go through and done. Now, when you're done, it's recommending that I run a deep malware scan to make sure that I'm fully safe and protected, and I could analyze my storage using my clutter, and that was the this last panel over here. And th when you're using the my clutter option, you tell it where to look. So I could go to like my hard drives, look there for clutter, duplicate files, things like that, and it will help get rid of it. Um, but as far as the smart care that I just performed, I could view a log and it will tell me exactly what it did here. And that's it. And that's clean my Mac. And as I mentioned, I truly believe this is the best uh, maintenance utility that someone could own for their Macintosh computer. Now, again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website, download their fully working free trial. I believe it's for seven days run it, see what it does for your Mac, and see if it speeds things up. And that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.